Hi friends, in Planet Earth Dating, it's Tuesday, August 18th, 2015. In the Lynn Body Mind right now, we have Ra and Luce and Glenn and Black Wolf. That's true. Uh, some aspects also of Asha and Charles. That's true. In the Jamie Body Mind right now, we have Pan and Fritz and some aspects of Asha, Betty Jean, Steve Hank, and Hank, Steve. Yeah, that's true. Yes. In short, we have an awful lot of voices here right now. It's unclear what direction the work is going to take, so we're going to stick with the foundational assignment, which is to do what is ours to do in all dimensions right now, to manifest the divine plan right now. In other words, to trigger the awakening right now, the data showing that means we need to provide a collective restart and the data also showing that this physical portal is an essential element in the effort. And with that, it begins. I feel as though we're sitting in a circle and it's kind of like uh, an addiction group, a group that's trying to recover from an addiction and we're all here to support each other in in not falling into the addiction patterns. That's true. Like a 12-step program. That's true. Uh, and we're talking in particular about a pattern that uh, many of us, probably all of us, have uh, displayed, which is to have arguments with our own higher souls through specifically this body mind portal that's true and this body mind portal has said repeatedly leave me out of these arguments that you're having with your own souls that's leave true. me out of it she's saying you shouldn't be arguing with your higher souls that's true. But that's a personal decision and you're not listening to me when I say you shouldn't be arguing with your higher soul. That's true. So at least leave me out of it. That's true. It's a very reasonable request. That's true. And it seems remarkably difficult for us to let go of and and I can understand this problem because here uh, uh, we've been engaging in the one up one down cycles long enough that's that we true. know what it's like to be on the sending end and on the receiving end that's true. and we know how frustrating it is to be on the receiving end not able to hear because of uh, resistance basically that's and true. then we get out of the cycle of incarnation and up into the control room for that three hour breather and we realize once more I didn't do what I was supposed to do that's once true. more I made crazy errors that's true so we know that we're going to regret not doing what we're supposed to do that's true and in the moment we don't seem to be able to find anything else to do other than grab the clearest possible microphone and start shouting as loudly as we can to try to get through that's to true the person who is us that's true on the receiving end and this is exactly what the body mind has over and over again asked us to not do that's she true. says leave me out leave of me it out leave of me it. out of that's it that's true how can we heal this pattern can we heal this let's pattern. have the intention we have to have the intention yes. first to heal the pattern that's true we have to intend to heal the the root causes of shouting at ourselves <laughs> that's true <laughs> and whatever that represents Present. in such that's a way true. as to align with our soul plans that's of true. all the collective of the team that's of true. these two body minds and the team awakening effort that's true and <laughs> to manifest the divine plan right now in other words to provide a collective restart right now that's true. What now? I feel like I pan have the talking stick, but I'm not sure yet what I'm supposed to say. I'm just going to start pulling it up structurally. This isn't going anywhere. But I can feel the air and the weight of it. I feel like I'm loose right now. And I can relate to just moving it structurally and that watching what's good. changing. That feels better. 
I see how for each of us we have different flavors of a pattern. Some of us are more inclined to be the ones who are actually shouting That's and true. others are more inclined to be the ones who are supposed to say, hey friend, don't shout. Don't shout. And we're standing by silently. That's true. Um, for example, I don't think I've ever seen Ra shout at anybody. That's true. Uh, but I have seen him stand by silently while others shout. Me too. Me and too. I myself have both shouted and stood by, so <laughs> I you know, I'm wearing have both all the shouted hats. and stood by. I, Glenn, have done so many things wrong that I don't think that's the worst thing I've done. I Fritz mm. shout all the time. Lots of prejudice to come up. Glenn here, that's what I really am struggling with. Prejudice. I I see these um I guess we'd call them dysfunctional patterns playing out and my prejudice kicks in and I make up a story in my head about who's doing what That's and then true. when I actually it looks like a spectrogram uh, just like light lines yes, when I look at the true. spectrogram readouts the fact pattern doesn't fit my diagnosis I'm, I'm mis uh, misdiagnosing who's doing what. That's true. Uh, I see that now and so uh, actually when I lay out the it looks like spectrograms. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I don't think I've been right yet. Uh, and this is now it's kind of funny it's something that um, the guidance counselor used to say to uh, I guess Asha when she was here in the limb body mind uh, the true. question is just are you still wrong or We're wrong, wrong again? again? That's true. And I see how I am just still wrong. I haven't yet had a moment where I wasn't wrong in my assessment, and that's fascinating. That's true. But at least I'm willing to look at it. That's true. Still wrong. Still wrong. I'm still wrong, even right now. That's There's true. something I'm really stubbornly resisting letting go of. I Fritz feel the same way. Mm. Like there's a big thorn <coughs> that I'm not pulling out. No, I'm just grabbing it right Grab now it and, and trying to pull it. it out. And I know one thing, uh, somebody's saying, what do you know? I know one thing that's been very helpful to me, Glenn, is just this very humbling exercise of walking down the stairs inside the energy body, physically walking down the stairs deeper, 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 and picking up crates of lies. That's true. And then climbing up the stairs carrying crates of lies and as I'm carrying them they're right there kind of under my nose you know this big box of lies under my nose That's and true. I can smell the kind of lie pretty well now I've carried enough crates of lies that I'm able to categorize them uh, nicely and I'm getting better and better about smelling who was saying the untruth That's and true. I'm getting better about being able to tell was it a confusion and untruth that they said where they were honestly confused or was their intent to manipulate and deceive, deceive. That's true. and it's really um, been an eye opener. That's true. <sighs> to notice how many of these lies uh, were made by the souls, and these are the best souls around. So That's true. Uh, if it's happening to us, boy, oh boy, what is happening to elsewhere? Else. That's it's true. It's a frightening thought. That's true. And not only that, how much intent to deceive there was, how much intent to manipulate there was. That's true. Uh, to, to protect one's own reputation. And I am very guilty of that. A lot of these lies are my Me own too. lies uh, to protect my reputation. That's true. M and just pinning it on the body that was handy at the moment, whatever body I was in, saying, well, uh, I am a better person than that, but that's the body true. took me down. Right, and that's, and that's just disgusting. And it isn't true. And by by carrying the boxes of lies up, I, I'm discovering that. And I'm That's actually true. discovering that just as uh, the teachers that this body has channeled for so many years have always said, That's it's true. easier to see the patterns in others than in to in see them in ourselves. I can recognize that error pattern in others. That's true. Uh, and as I'm carrying up the lies that others have said, it's like, oh, yes, well, they're just covering up their um, mistakes That's and true. pinning it on the donkey, pinning That's the true. tail on the donkey. That's true. Uh, and I can see it in them and I feel almost uh, superior yeah. uh, to them as I'm carrying that box of lies up and then I uh -huh. go down
around and I pick up the box that's right behind it or next to it or underneath it and the smell is the same in terms of the flavor of lye God. but unfortunately it's got my name smell on it God, and I so see that. I've been learning really a lot and I, I actually hardly recommend this exercise to anyone who's ready to uh, learn some unpleasant and inconvenient truths hi Fritz I'm ready Mom, no one's blocking Start the door. Start grabbing these boxes and bringing them up. Because it's humbling to see, goodness gracious, we can't carry a box up two flights of stairs. That's true. And Ira, see that I have a big error pattern of uh, being conveniently busy on the phone <laughs> or something that doesn't require physical strength when there's something that the body mind has to do that does require physical strength I just absent myself Got it. when there's physical effort needed and, and how am I ever going to get strong if that's the choice I make that's crazy that's true. to be how in the body for the exercise to be in the body for the run that's, uh, true. that's how I will get stronger that's mm -hmm. true Asha is there something you'd like to say? Asha? Well, clearly there's something Asha is supposed to say, and clearly she doesn't want to say it. This is Asha. A lot of the boxes that are labeled as other team members are actually mine. Those are my boxes over there. Some of them are actually yours, but a lot of them are mine, and I put your name on them. Well... Glenn here, I, I'm not reading the labels, I'm just smelling the smell. I already know a lot of this is yours. So you mean to say that you've also mislabeled the boxes? Yeah. Wow. Well, why don't you... Start uh, carting them up. Why don't you start pulling off the labels that you put on the boxes? Yeah. Or at least correct them. That's true. And say basically, like, who, whose name are you putting on your own lie boxes? Goose and Pan and Glenn. Oh, fascinating. And the body mind. Wow, this is really fascinating. So, Glenn here, you're saying uh, Luce and Pan, and I think, oh, you know, that's bad. She shouldn't have done that. And then you said Glenn, and I got outraged. So, it's like... Oh, it's poor Luce, poor Pan. Right. Oh, terrible for them that Asha's, you know, uh, smearing their reputation with her own errors. Yeah. And it's then what? You're smearing my reputation? How dare you? Look how crazy I am. And the Lynn Body Mind, I also put the Lynn Body Mind mm -hmm. name on some of the boxes. Well, that's what we've all done. I know this from carrying up these boxes. That's true. And I put Ra's name on some of the boxes. He knows about that. And I put the names of a lot of other people. A lot of other spirit world beings and some nature, nature realms realms beings. beings. Well, so that would only confuse somebody who is reading the labels. And actually, I'm still Glenn here. That points out uh, what Pan has said is actually really helpful, is if we, we start to remove the errors, That's true. then we learn a lot about what's going on. We just start to move the energy structurally, and a lot becomes clear that wasn't clear before and for me to actually be picking up these boxes I'm not looking at the labels I'm just going into the warehouse of lies my intention is empty the warehouses of lies That's true. and there are many layer upon layer upon layer upon layer have warehouses of lies and many of them are lies of the uh, collective unconscious the That's stories true. that have been handed down from uh, the moment sentient life began uh, that aren't true uh, and so I'm just emptying all the lies and as I'm carrying That's the boxes true. I'm noticing the odors that waft out of them and That's learning true. about the patterns of lies and about the people who tell them. That's true. I'm not reading the labels. That's true. This points out something very useful. I still feel like Glenn, and this is something that 
the teachers could have been Ra, teachers speaking through this body could have been Ra, have pointed out is that as we um, try to identify things, it's actually harder to identify it accurately than it is to remove it and pay attention as we remove it. That's true. Possibly because of stunts like that, That's possibly true. because of people mislabeling lies. And so we could perhaps be trying to uh, say, whose lie is this? And well, the box says loose, but something feels weird about that. Doesn't smell like loose. Doesn't smell like loose. It's true. That's confusing. And w when we work together, we start to look and feel alike. And while I don't look and feel like you guys, um, not yet, uh, true. I have a hard time telling apart uh, Ra and Loose and Black true. Wolf. And, you know, when you get a group of you guys together, uh, it's hard to tell who's who. That's true. Up the stairs. And what do you notice about the boxes, the smells? What I have found is yeah. it's easier to identify what the lie is than to identify who told the lie, who who acted out the lie. Got it. The lie feels oh. something like I can't be wrong. Oh, it can't possibly be me who's wrong. Right. Must be the other person. I can't possibly be deluded. That's true. Four words to change a life. I, I could, could be wrong. Be wrong. And whoever's up. clearest in the moment, residing in this body mind, is the one who says those wise things. That's true. I see how over and over again, I ra, my error is to use the energy of the body to do the work, not using my own energy. True. Over and over again, the same error pattern. It just happened again just now. I see how I Fritz do that too. Mm. I see that. I see it. I can do better. I can do, I better. Can do better. I can do better. I can do Let better. me try again. Really compress. Let's compress. get this non physical down to one layer. We can at least do that. I can do that. We can do that. Can do we that. can get down to one layer of non-physical. That's true. I know we can do that. We can do that. I'm sure we can do that. That's true. And if we can get them to engage in the cycles of incarnation, then at least they will be set up to one day have enough strength mm. to make a difference in the physical. That's true. And we just keep using the eternal bubble so that that one day happens sooner rather That's than later. True. And then what will continually come up against the stumbling blocks, the hurdles will be when we haven't yet chosen to correct our errors, when we That's are true. still choosing to hold on to patterns that don't work. That's true.